Hello, this is Rackendite and I will show you a couple of kick drums that I prepared for the sample pack for Audio Tent. And here we go. I have uh, 10 kick drums here, all on separate MIDI channels. Usually I put them on the keys so I can already find the tune that I like, either high pitched or very low pitched. Usually I, I take a little um, spectrum analyzer to kind of see where the frequency works. Like this one is peaking at 37 hertz. That's usually too low, I think, for most systems. Um, I made the experience that around 50 hertz, usually like on a club or a festival sound system, um, the kick drum works best and has the highest punch. So this is 47.9, that's quite low, but still very punchy. Um, and I, you know, I, I try to find the, the right decay of the kick, if it has like a belly or if it's very short and tight. Let's keep it a bit more thick this time. I, I put a, uh, usually I work on kicks with samples. I, I use kick drum samples that I sampled off of drum machines a while back. I put them into the sampler and I, I use a, a filter um, to kind of find the frequency that I have or that I that I want to pronounce and usually I will give it a little bit of cue upwards like in the area where the kick drum is sitting and it depends of the mix down if I want to, the kick to be very prominent or not and then the EQing starts which is usually the main piece of work when I when I sample or when I mix down or create kick drums I personally like to always reduce the frequencies around 200 a little bit because then it's it, the kick drum gets cleaner it doesn't doesn't sound as much as you would kick into a trash can you see if I if I decrease that or if I increase that frequency band it's like this dull noise it's got, gets getting much more clean if, if I reduce a little bit here. And then I put a little bit of compression onto the kick drum. This is too much for sure. I just let it, usually I just let to the gain reduction, I let it kiss the, the input a little bit. I put the attack usually on like, you know, something between 20 and 40 seconds. And then depending if I want to have a, a kick drum with a belly, I open the release or I close it. And then I try to find the, the proper level. Also on the, on the main, it's a little bit too much here. And then the kick drum is ready. I can put it into a loop. And then the techno track is done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.